today with Meryl to create a festival uh, style braid. First we blow dry the hair creating soft beachy waves. So I'm just going to remove the pins. Braids have become quite popular this year, um, inspired by sort of tribal, tribal fashion and it's really easy to create yourself at home. Section your hair for the braid, starting from the recession through to just behind the air. There's lots of different ways you can create your um, side braids. You can do it internally or externally. We're going to do an external braid today. So we need to section the hair into three braid section into three. An external braid is when you when you weave the hair from the underneath with the difference being an internal braid which is weaved over the top. Braid your hair all the way down, just to the part line, to the nape of the neck. From here we're going to create a fishtail plait. For a fishtail plait you need two sections. Braid all the way down. Once you've reached the end of your hair, pull the plait apart to create a more scruffy, textured braid. Apply a little bit of surf spray to create more texture and a beachy, scruffy festival look for your hair and there you have it. For your festival makeup look today, we're going to do a two-tone ombre lip and then we're just going to have a bit of fun and maybe play with some colours around the eyes. For the lips, we've decided to do an ombre two-tone lip. So I'm going to start this by using a pink pencil and I'm doing a really thick line all around Meryl's lips. I want a good base under there so the colour of shine comes through more. So that's why I'm doing quite a thick line in pink. And then with an orange pencil from Kiko, I'm going to go in the middle and make almost like a mini lips shape. Going over the pink pencil with the pink lip mix applied with a brush and then applying orange lip mix on top of the orange pencil, also with a brush. I always think the key to festival makeup is something quite fun and something that you don't have to worry too much about during the day. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and pat this in to give a kind of more matte, lived-in effect and then block with a tissue, that's always great before you use lip coat. Before applying lip coat, I use a Q-tip just to go around the edge of the lip shape just to make it a bit more lived in again. Because this is obviously quite a fun look, you don't want it to look too perfect. And then once that's happened, I just add the lip coat, which will make the lipstick last and last and last. So you can eat, drink, shout, sing, anything. Of course lip coat does tingle when you first put it on but once it's dry that tingle finishes so don't worry about that. I'm going to use a bit of gel on your eyebrows just to brush them up. Big eyebrows are great. 
and frame your face. Yeah. And I always like a brushed up eyebrow, I think they look really modern. So I'm using a green, almost like an emerald shade of green liquid liner from Makeup Academy and this is a really great value range. Pressing this into the lash line and doing a fairly thick line because you want to see some of the colour but I don't want it again, I don't want this to look too vintage. While the, the liner is drying I've curled Meryl's lashes and then I used an Urban Decay glittery liner, again this is in a green but you could use a contrasting shade if you preferred. Um, and again, just place that on quite gently because you don't want to move the liner underneath around too much. Obviously I curled your lashes while the, the green liner was drying. So now I'm going to use a waterproof mascara because obviously you want this on for the day. When you're at a festival or you're out in Ibiza partying, it's like the one, like the really the one time you can go crazy with your makeup. So I'm going to get a bit creative. Just going to stick on some some jewels. I'm going to use um, some eyelash glue. The one I use is Duo. So I just popped a bit of lash glue onto the back of my hand, and then using a pair of tweezers, that's the best way to put these jewels on. Just put a, like a really small amount of the glue on the back of um, the jewel and let it go slightly tacky and then just place them wherever you want. I think these kind of things look nice around the eye, not necessarily on them. Um, and you could put like, you know, make them into shapes, little flowers, or you know, you could put on some stars, some like little graphic or geometric shapes, whatever you like, it's up to you, have fun. Yeah.